Boxing back with another one. This is my breakdown slash prediction video for Zelfa Barrett versus Leon Woodstock. And it's going down this Saturday. It's a 12 round fight. It's at the super featherweight division and it's for a Commonwealth title. So let me go down and give you some information on both fighters, then break down the fight, how I see it going, and then I'll give you my prediction. So stay tuned for that. Firstly, from Leicester. We've got the king, Leon Woodstock. He's had 13 fights, 12 wins, 1 loss, 5 wins by knockout. He's had 0 draws and he's working with around 38% KO power. He's 25 years old. He's been pro for 4 years. He stands at around 5 foot 9. It says on box track he stands at 5 foot 9, which I don't believe is true. And he's also an orthodox boxer. If anybody don't know what an orthodox boxer is, I mean my missus asked me the other day what an orthodox boxer is, so I'm surprised she didn't know. And that's a right-handed fighter, basically. And Leon Woodstock's last three opponents was Edwin Tells, who was 12 wins with 42 losses, and that went to a eight. That went eight, that was an eight round eight round fight, and that went eight rounds, so it went the distance. Then he fought Archie Shaw, who was 13 and 0 at the time, and that went 12 rounds, but he lost that fight. 12 round unanimous decision. And then he fought Sergio Gonzalez, who was 10 and 13 at the time, and that was an eight round eight round fight, and he also won that. So he had if we look at these last three opponents, we can tell he hasn't had a stoppage for a long time. In his last three fights, he hasn't had a stoppage. Also, he's only had one win since his first loss. He took to Archie Sharp, who isn't really that much of a great fighter. He's an okay boxer, but in my opinion, Leon Woodstock has no excuse to lose to somebody like that. But let me get into the brown flash, Zelfa Barrett. Anybody knows about Zelfa Barrett? He's Pat Barrett's nephew. He's from Manchester also, just like Pat Barrett was. And he's Pat Barrett's nephew. But let me get into Zelfa, the brown flash Barrett. He's had 22 fights. He's had 21 wins, one loss, no draws. He's coming with around 59% power. He's also 25 years old. He's been pro for five years now. On box record, it says that he stands at five foot seven with a 68 reach, which I disagree with. I believe Zelfa Barrett is taller than Leon Woodstock. If I've seen him standing side by side, as you should see in the video, and Zelfa Barrett's obvious, blatantly the bigger guy. But on box record, it says Woodstock stands at five foot nine and Barrett stands at five foot seven, and I believe it's the other way around. But I don't know. Anyway, Zelfa Barrett's an orthodox boxer. 
aka a yeah, right-handed fighter. So I thought about his last three opponents was Ronnie Clark, who was 20 and 4 at the time. If anybody's seen that fight, that was a wicked fight. Go check that fight out. Brilliant one. And uh, that for about actually lost that fight. 12 round unanimous decision. Or it's 12 round majority decision. And then he fought Edwin Tells, who also Leon Woodstock fought. He fought him twice back to back. The first time he went to points, the eight round fight. And the second ra second fight, he stopped him. In the second round, a TKO win, which was pretty good. Because he was looking to get that stoppage. He went for the stoppage and he got it. So from here, we can take away that Zelfa Barrett's last two fights was a win. His, his, his loss was two fights ago, while Archie's, Archie beat. Uh... So let me talk about the styles and what type of style each fighter has and how I see the fight going. Firstly, let me talk about Leon Woodstock. He's like a come forward fighter. He dips kind of low. He comes forward, looking to throw hard punches, trying to get you on, trying to get his opponents onto the ropes and unload with hard punches. He's trying to pressure his opponents and make them work harder than they should. He's trying to set his own pace. And basically, he's just, he's just trying to break you down and finish you off. That's what he's trying to do. He's got decent. He's not got bad power. He's got a decent power. He's got a good overhand right. His jab's not great, but it's got a little snap to it when he does decide to throw it. He's got decent footwork. He does like to come forward a lot. He's, he comes forward pretty fast. He makes you work. He keeps he stays there in your face. He's not afraid to take a shot. And he gives it as good as he got, as good as he gets, basically. He's a good fighter. He's a he's a hard working fighter. <laughs> he's a very active fighter who's always looking to throw punches. He's just He's just looking to land in big punches on you. He just wants to push onto the ropes and break you down and finish you. On the other side, we've got Zelfa Barrett, who's more of a box. I'd say he's a boxer puncher, and he's got a really good active jab. He loves to stick that jab out, and he works off the jab. Everything Zelfa Barrett does in the ring, it basically comes off the jab. You know, he's one of them boxers. He likes to keep it long. He likes to keep it on the outside. He likes to keep it clean. And he's, a com he's also a good combination puncher. And he, he, he's a good combination puncher and he also enjoys to work the body. And he, he works the body very well for the level of fight every is. Or the level of fight every he's fighting at the minute. He works the body very well. And he's got a sign signature punch which is like the bolo punch to the body as well. We were coming with a, um, a fast jab and the bolo punch to the body. He enjoys throwing that punch, and that punch is a decent punch. It could get pe it gets people out of there. If not, it hurts them. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying about Zalfa Barrett. And let me talk about um, how I see the fight going, and who I'm going to pick to win the fight. First, I'm gonna uh, let, let me tell you who I'm going to pick to win the fight. I think after I've, I've watched a couple of the fights, I've watched most of their careers anyway. I've been watching the last at least three, four fights of their career, and I've known about them for a while now. I've known. Them but both fighters for about three, four years minimum. And I'm gonna pick Zelfa Barrett to win this one. I feel like Zelfa Barrett is, is like what can I say? I I I think I, not only do I pick Zelfa Barrett to win, I think Zelfa Barrett could stop um, Leon Woodstock. I think he'll stop him around around eleven or around twelve because Leon Woodstock hasn't really been that far in fights. I don't think he's fought more than an 8 or 10 round fight. So we don't really know where Leon Woodstock is. But on the other hand, we know Zalfa Barrett can go hard, 12 hard rounds. As we've seen it in the Rodney Clark fight. Rodney Clark fight. So I'm going to pick Zalfa Barrett. I feel like he's the bigger fighter as well. I feel like he's the more proven fighter. I feel like he's fought a better opposition. I feel like Barrett's uh, just technically better as well. I feel like he hits harder. I feel like his style is better made to defeat somebody like Leon Woodstock than Leon Woodstock style being made to defeat somebody like Zalfa Barrett. Even though I feel like the, the styles are tailor made for each other, I feel like Leon Woodstock's smaller, he's going to have more problems getting into Zalfa Barrett 
who loves to use also I forgot to mention loves to use his feet and footwork and use the ring and walk around and keep his um, opponent constantly resetting resetting so yeah that's how I see the fight going Leon would stop constantly having to reset while Leo, uh, while Zalpha Barrett moves him around the ring, throwing the jab, working off the jab, breaking him down to the body, up and low. I don't think Leon would stop seeing anybody like him yet. I don't think he's got enough to deal with Zalpha Barrett just yet. I feel like Leon Woodstock has all the abilities in the world, but I don't feel like his trainer is up to par. I feel like his trainers, just, just any guy just decided to train people, you get me? He knows what he knows, but he's not elite at this thing. He's not. He's only so far he can take man, and that's like Zel and that's Leon Woodstock level, who as he sees thirteen and one took a loss to Sharpie, who wasn't isn't a great fighter, but just knows how to use the ring and his legs pretty well. So if Clarky beat Sharpie, sorry, beat Leon Woodstock, then Zelfa Bout will beat Leon Woodstock because his his style's similar to Sharpie, but a lot better, a lot more polished, a lot more sharper. He's a lot much of a much more better fighter than Sharpie is, so that's another reason why I see Zalpha Barrett lose winning this fight. Pardon me, I'm making a lot of mistakes. I'm trying not to swear in my video. I'm trying to keep it nice and crisp. But you know, nobody's perfect out here, man. I don't get paid for this shit, so it is what it is. What else can I say about this fight, man? Yeah, let me talk about the attributes. Like, for example, when it comes to bodywork, I think Zalpha Barrett's got the better bodywork. Who's got the better heart? I feel like Barrett, I don't know, I'll give that 50-50 heart because they've both been through some wars and not none of them have given up. None of them have shown a crack of looking to give up. They've both been dropped, they've both been dragged through some hard fights and none of them have given up. So I'll give that heart 50-50. Defence, I'm going to have to give that to Zelfa Barrett. I feel like he's got the better defence. Speed, I'm going to give that 50-50. I feel like they both got some speed on their shots. Both as, just as fast as each other. They're both in the prime. They're both in shape. They both stay in the gym. And they both got that elite top top range speed. I won't say elite speed, but top speed. Good speed. Power, I'm gonna give that to Zelfa Barrett. I feel like he hits harder. I feel like he's slightly bigger as well. Footwork, I'm gonna give that to Zelfa Barrett. I feel like he works the ring a lot better. Technique, I'm gonna give that also to Zelfa Barrett. I feel like he works the ring much better, his ring IQ is much better, his ring generalship is much better and he knows what he's doing when he's using his legs. Chin, I'm going to give that 50-50, they've both been dropped once, even though Zalfa Barrett's knockdown was a brutal one, I don't think many people would have got up from that while. I think Leon Woodstock got dropped by a jab, but I think he was just squared off and he didn't really get hurt as such, it was just knocked off to his arse off balance. So I think that's about it. What else have we got? Heart, defense, yeah. So that's it. I'm gonna pick Leon uh, Zalfa Barrett to win this fight. I don't think Leon Woodstock can win, but I won't be. I will be surprised if he wins. But you never know. This is boxing. You see what happened to AJ last fucking week, man. <laughs> so that's it from me, Kingdom of Boxing. I'm gonna leave it here. Big up everyone for tuning in. And on to the next, I'm gone, peace from there.